Hello, everybody. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, John, what are you doing? And I'd be like, hey, no, it's cool. I'm making a Portal 2 tutorial about custom sounds. And it's a pain in the butt, let me tell you. I'm even going to go out there. This is the PG-13 version. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Okay, here we go. Go up, press the button, and it plays a custom sound. I know you can't hear it, but it's there. So you're just going to have to trust me. You're going to have to trust me and take this leap of faith. I'm going to leave my Portal 2 open because I'm about to monkey with everything. Okay. So look, here's the first thing you want to do. You want to grab your custom sound and make sure that it is 44,100 kilohertz by 128-bit MP3. Period. It's got to be that. By the way, I didn't get this method. It's this guy from Hungary, Dumagepi or whatever. Dumagepi, even though it sounds Italian. Um, I could just do that all day. My name is Dumagapi. Anyway, I'm having a great time over here. I'm drunk and it's 2 in the afternoon. I'm not drunk and it's not 2 in the afternoon. Anyway, so I'm going to include this link over on the, uh, over on the YouTube thing, like in the comments thing, or whatever. Anyway, so it needs, so your MP3 needs to be that, and this is where you want to go. Portal 2, so like you're in your main Portal 2 directory, okay? Go to Portal 2, and then go down and find sounds, go there, and then add a directory. I just did temp. And then go to there, and then you have your sound. Okay? There you go. So it's got to be there in order in order to be able to find it in your uh, in Hammer. Okay, so then let, now let's go and make our very amazing basic map. So go pick your texture, pick your texture, and then, of course, how all my tutorials start. Build a block. A lovely block. And maybe if you could, oh, there we go, make it hollow. <clears throat> and then, of course, player start point. And then do that, and I'm going to build three of them. So then this one, I'm going to make it a button. A baton. Dumagepi, making a baton. If you guys are irritated by that, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's just, it's amusing the hell out of me. Ambient generic is the other one. Give it a name. I'm going to give it a name of sound. And then give it the sound name. Okay. So then go to raw, and then go and filter it out. You know what I'm saying? And then filter it out with the directory that you added. I did temp, so life is good. And my new one isn't in there. I was going to do a third. Main Explode 3. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. Well, I'm just going to do Main Explode 2. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so. So now that's in there. Let's make it so it plays on output. So here we go. On pressed. Ugh. On pressed sound, and then play sound. Okay. And then flags. Play everywhere. Oh, by the way, I should go and, like, specify that. I had just gone and I had added on a new third sound. I just copied main explode, a new third sound, just to make it so I was loading in a new one. But I didn't restart hammer, so it didn't read. So if you have a sound and it's not reading, restart hammer, and um, hammer will be able to read it after the sound exists in your new directory. Anyway, so then that's there, so that's all good. Now let's get to the complicated BS, okay? This stuff is so stupid. So stupid. No, I actually, I mean, Damageppi, you know, I got I to gotta hand it to you. So then, uh, options. So you, I'm sorry, so you want to go to tools, you want to go to options, okay? And you want to go to build programs, last tab. And you want to change your game executable to where your BSP zip is. Portal 2 bin BSP zip, okay? Done. And then when you hit F9... Give it a name. I'm going to call it Nameface. And when you hit F9, you'll be pumped out to this normal guy right here. Okay? Hit Expert. All right. And now you're going to be shown this. This is how yours is going to look. You're going to see these five BS things. Who knows what they do? doesn't matter. They do very complicated stuff that we don't need to know. So you want to go to your last one, click it off, and you want to add a new one. New! And move it up to before copy file. Okay, and your command do dollar sign game dollar sign game underscore exe. Okay, and then in your parameters, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add list. Okay, and then I want to go to make sure that I get all this right because you're gonna do this right here, add list and all that. I'm gonna copy and paste it, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so copy and then paste. So pretty much what this is is it's adding a list with um, BSP zip, okay? And so this list is in the path, and it's, so first it's like, okay, what file are we dealing with? We're dealing with the map that we're saving, path file. And then 
Well, what's the file name? Path file name dot text. And then the final one is the final path, path file dot BSP. So it overwrites the BSP that we were originally dealing with after adding whatever, whatever is in the file text. Okay? So that one's good. And then go and hit, uh, up, you know, apply or whatever, you know, so it's actually doing it. Great. So that's all set up. Close. Now you got to make your text file. Text file is pretty easy. This is an example of what it's going to look like. So it's so your your upper line is where your sound exists relative to the portal to directory, and then this one is your ultimate, like it's the whole thing. So like this is what it's going to be in the file, and this is what it's going to be in your um in your uh in your whole computer. Okay, so I'm going to go to my new one and we'll start it from scratch. So my first line is what it's going to be relative to the Portal 2 directory. So if I go to Portal 2 and it's where my sound is going to be, you already added it. So it's in sound temp main explode 2. So it's sound temp main explode 2.mp3, right? Yes. Okay. Little kicker on the second one, map name. This next one, they're all opposite directions, or maybe the previous one, they're supposed to be the opposite directions. Previous one. So this one, this top one's supposed to be forward slashes. I think that's forward slash. And I think this next one's backslash. So this is my whole directory, okay? And I already know a program, space files, space x86, and then backslash. I think that's a backslash. And then steam, steam apps. Portal space to portal to sounds. I've already done this so many times. Temp and then main explode to dot mp3. Okay, and let me double check it to make sure that I got it just amazingly right. And I did. Cool. Gotta find it. And now what I want to do is save it with the exact name as my as my map name. So it's nameface. So save as, and I want to do it in SD to SD, in Portal 2 SDK content. Ooh, man, SDK. Huh. Maps. So then it's going to be nameface. Dot text. Oh, I'm in Notepad, by the way. If any, if some people are confused on that, just go to Start and open up Notepad. Nameface. Save. Great. So now it's there. So that means in my Portal 2 SDK. SDK content, jeez, uh, map, so nameface right here, nameface.txt, nameface.vmf, so it's all going to be read when it does it, so I can go back to here, hit F9, I'm still in advanced, and then compile it, so it's going to run through it all, you can see it at the very end, right here, BSP zip, opening BSP file, C program files, x86, blah, 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 adding this file, right there and like it's gonna read this either way whether it adds it or not okay it's gonna look that pretty if you don't have it written exactly then it won't add it correctly okay so I'm gonna go back to portal 2 because the thing is is when you have it on expert it's not gonna automatically load in your map after it's completed and, and you you have to manually load it in okay so that's why portal 2 is still open and then I'll hit the console do map nameface and then enter and then it'll load it up let me go and check to make sure that it added it. And mine worked. So it's a pain in the butt, I'm telling you. And then also, additionally, a really interesting thing is that once you add it, once you add a sound the first time, I believe Hammer's able to find it from there in, there on out. So that makes it even more convenient. Like, then you don't have to do this whole advanced thing. Because I went and I did it with a couple of the previous ones, like the test ones, and I didn't even need to run it through the, um, run it through the expert anymore. It just automatically worked. I know, I know. Very cool. So that's it, guys. I uh, I hope it wasn't too confusing. This is one of the harder tutorials that I've had to cast, and that's it.